Welcome back to Mutakamil Financial Track. Uh, in the previous lecture, we finished the identity types in configuration, and now we'll start with the uh, data drivers as part of the setup in System Admin. Um, or actually, drivers data. So once you click on it, a window comes up and it's divided into five parts. The first part has to do with the driver's main information, uh, like the name, account number, uh, driver's code and phone number. The second part, however, is about the driver's identification, like the national ID number, passport, residency, and so on. The third part is about the driver's license. Uh, the fourth is about the uh, details of the vehicle that this driver uses. And the last section is um, list of all the drivers you have in the system and their information. We're using the fields in this screen to add the driver's data. Driver number is automatic after you click on add. It's basically an ordinal number or a code given to this new driver that you're adding. Account code, uh, here we select the account which will get affected by any transactions related to this driver. To select the right account, hit F9. Uh, and then we enter the driver's name in the local language here and in foreign language as well. Um, same goes for the local address and the foreign address. You can also enter the driver's phone number in mobile. In ID type, we click on the arrow and in the drop down menu, we can have, uh, we can see, I'm sorry, the ID types that we've entered before. You will just select the one that is relevant or the one that you're about to enter, then you will enter the ID number here. Uh, you also need to enter the issue place and also the date it was issued and the expiry date. You can add the vehicle's number as well, and in remarks, you can add any additional notes if needed. The variable locked uh, basically stops any transactions related to this driver, and that is of course if you activate it. Uh, to save all the information you entered, don't forget to save before you exit. Then we'll move on to linked systems, and when you click on it, a window comes up where we can select the linked systems from the specialized systems after clicking on add. In financial year, you can see the one you signed in with, and this cannot be edited. And in branch number, we can see, um, sorry, we can select the branch from the drop down menu, and the same goes for warehouse number, currency, and user. Just click on the drop down menu and select the right one. In burden account, we select the account which will get affected by the system changes, and we can select the account uh, in one of two ways either by clicking on this icon which will show us all the accounts in the chart of accounts, or you can just hit F9 and choose the right one. The user can select a specific customer by hitting F9 in the customer name field, or by clicking on this icon. And in, e, in, in APK, I'm sorry, and URL, we can add a website, basically. And finally, all of the information entered in this window comes up in a list or a menu below, and don't forget to save. Moving on to the window, shopping items, uh, and through this window, we can select a couple of discounts for multiple items or a group of items or even a single item. To do that first, we need to select the branch that we're going to apply the discounts to from branch name, and this is a drop down menu where you can just pick the branch that you want. Click on modify, select the stock group by heading F9 in the fields from group number to group number. And by the way, we will explain the whole concept of uh, stock groups in upcoming lectures related to inventory. We select the items by also pressing F9 in the fields from item number to item number. Click on the icon here on the left and the details of the selected items will come up in the lower part of the window. And in discount uh, percentage, we type in the percentage of the discount which we want to apply, then we click on this arrow to apply the discount on the items that we've selected. And in search for item, we click, uh, I'm sorry, we hit F9 to bring up a window where we can search in the items that already uh, have a discount applied. Click on save and then exit. Moving on to customer types, uh, which is the window um, that using it, we can add types for customers like local customers, uh, loyal customers, whichever way you find more suitable or whichever works for you. You will click on add and then the type is automatic. We of course will enter the type name, um, then save and exit. 
Next we have vendors types and it works exactly like customer types. Um, type number is automatic once you click on add and you'll just need to enter the type and um, you can link this type to uh, of vendors to an account by pressing F9 in this field or by clicking on this icon which opens up a new window with the chart of accounts. The variable include vendor type number in vendor number will include the type number in the vendor's code and if you activate it of course. So um, let's just try to explain that a little bit more. Let's say that the type is local vendors and that type is number one. If you um, if, if that type basically includes three vendors, then the first one's code will be 11, the second one is 12, and the third one will be 13. So the type number comes first, which is one. However, if you do not activate this variable, the vendor's codes will just be one, two, three. Next, we have the variable generate auto um, vendor number. Um, and so if we have different types for our vendors, then when you activate this variable, the system will uh, generate serial numbers for each type separately. Of course, don't forget to save after you've made the changes that you need and then exit. And now we'll move on to customer data. This one is divided into two sections. The upper one includes the fields we use um, to enter the customer's main information and the lower part includes seven different tabs for seven different kind of information including statistical information as well we have two ways of adding the customer's information first one is through an excel file uh, after clicking on add we go to the tab from excel and this has an icon on the lower right um, when you click on it you will be able to browse your computer and select the excel file which contains the customer's data after you select the file you will just click on import from excel the second way um, is going to be using the fields that we have on the screen and we just manually type in each piece of data. Um, first we click on add and in customer type we can see all of the types that we've added before. Customer number is automatic um, after you've selected the type. Parent account and account code are fields where we can see the, uh, the account that is going to get affected by the transactions with this customer and to select the account you will just need head of nine we enter the customer's name both in arabic and in english and in start of dealing and end of dealing you just need to type down the dates that suit your business and the customer basically the date that you started having business with this customer and if you have some kind of a contract when will that be ending you can select the branch this customer deals with from related to branch and by activating suspend customer, the system will not allow any transactions with this customer. If you click on that square on the left, you can add a photo for this customer or a logo, uh, which will come up here. And to delete it, you can just click on the little X sign. Now we can start filling in the fields and the tabs. The first one is personal data where we can enter, enter the customer's ID, ID number, issue place, issue date, the same information that we entered for our drivers um, a while ago. And we can also see um, the gender, like we can enter or select the gender, uh, the birthplace, the birth date, the address, and in delivery method, we need to specify how the customer, uh, the customer got introduced to our company or our business. Now let's move on to financial data. So we can enter the customer's payment method, whether it's going to be cash or credit. And if you activate the variable fixed price, then the system fixes the prices for this customer, even if they change. We can also select the pricing level and uh, link this customer to a cost center in cost center uh, in center number. I'm sorry. And you can also fix a collector for this customer in collector number as well as fixing a representative by hitting F9 in representative number. Now, in percentage, we can fix the discount rate, which this customer will always be getting at every single purchase. And we can also set a debt limit uh, for the customer that they cannot exceed uh, in credit limit. In credit period, you can enter the duration the customer gets to uh, make their payments. And you can also enter the customer's uh, commercial registration and tax number. 
and we can select whether this customer is um, a local customer or external or within G the GCC. GCC. Yeah, that's two C's. <laughs> so in statistics, the system shows us uh, statistical data about this customer, like the opening balance for this financial year, last payment the customer made, um, the date of that payment, and the last invoice amount. Now, extra fields is basically just 10 additional fields that you can use to enter any additional data. Now, we'll move on to the tab signatures. Here we have five empty squares where we can uh, insert scanned copies of the customer's signature. Uh, when you click on the square, it lets you browse your files to select the photos and then import them to the database. Credit limit is considered a statistical tab. And here you can see all of the currencies that the customer used with the company and other information like their uh, indebtedness for each of these cur currencies. And as usual, don't forget to save before you exit. Now let's talk about the vendor details. Here you can add the vendor's details through an Excel file. And we already went through that and how it works. Uh, you will click on the tab uh, from Excel after clicking on add. Then we click on this icon, browse the files, select the Excel file, and then click on import from Excel. The second way to do it is to uh, use the fields that we have. First, we select the vendor type. Uh, vendor number is automatic. And as if you guys remember, if we had activated the generate, uh, generate auto vendor number to vendor type in the vendors types screen, then the system will auto generate serial number uh, related to the type as we said earlier. Account name is also based on the type that we've selected as we link each type to an account. In vendor account number, we hit F9 and select the vendor's account and then we enter the vendor's name in English and in Arabic. And in case the transactions with this vendor are taxed, then we need to activate the variable um, vendor pay VAT. And if we want to prohibit dealing with this vendor, then activate the variable suspend vendor. In the lower part, we can enter detailed and financial data about that vendor. Regarding the detailed data, that's going to be uh, the tab details and that contains fields like the vendor's address, credit period, uh, commercial registration, credit limit, so on and so forth. And we also select if this vendor local um, is local or external or within the uh, GCC. As for the tab financial data, that one is a statistical tab where we can see the information related to the currencies used uh, with this vendor, uh, this vendor's credit and relevant information. As well, you will need to save before you exit and you're all set. Um, that's pretty much everything for this lecture. Thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, uh, like and share the video, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and we will see you again.